Right, folks. This is not a sponsored video review. What it is, a while ago, uh, we reviewed a Morrison's food box, didn't we, June? Yeah. And Ginge. Yes. And uh, it went down quite well, didn't it? It was quite. Yeah, we really did. It was quite a successful um, little video we did, and um, yeah, it was just a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was good for us as well. Yeah. Wasn't it? We, we actually bought it a few times afterwards and made some decent meals out of it. You can actually tweak it um, to your own, you know, to what you want to do yourself. Uh, so anyway, Ginge. Uh, has been banging on about these other companies who as well who 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 have you been banging on about? <laughs> Obviously one. Hello Fresh. Hello darling. <laughs> Gusto. 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 That's it. And that's it, right? So anyway, she kept banging on and on and I'm trying not to swear. Banging on and on and on and on about this blooming Hello Fresh. So I bit the bullet and I put out £49. Yes. £49. Uh, the box came today. Uh, it came by PDP. DPD. DPD. And. Um, I think. No. Um, do not do that at home, folks. That was silly of me. Uh, so, anyway, uh, it came. I ordered it on. Eh? Is your address gone? I've ripped it off. Um, I've ripped it, uh, I've, I've, I've bit the bullet and I've bought it and it took, we ordered it on Friday, no we didn't, we ordered it on Tuesday didn't we? Yeah. So um... No, Ginge, how many did we order? Was it three meals? Three four meals. meals. Four meals. Four meals. I thought we got three but what? Right? Four meals for three people. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the box down. No, this is four meals for four. Oh yeah, four meals for four people because I'm losing weight. Um, so what we've got, we've got... Hold on, let's tell them what we've got. So we should have the ingredients for cream... Oh no, it's three people. Yeah, four meals for three people. So, we've got creamy bacon and mustard penne. Uh, steak and red wine jus. Chili beef burrito bowl. And then we have chicken and plum noodle stir fry. So in the box, we've got these three bags. Um, we've got a bag of um, cold stuff in sheep's wool, yeah, that needs splitting up. We've got two bulbs of garlic to keep the vampires away, as Frankie Hollywood's Goethe says. Keep the vampires it's from your packaged. door. I mean, that's, that's all the cold stuff in there. And it's got ice packs in there. It's, it's all cold, really cold. Cold, cold. So we've got beef sirloin steaks. They look steady, don't they? But this is, you can customise it yourself. Yes, you, you customise it yourself. Like with the Morrisons, it was a set, set thing. thing. So this one, you can pick uh, how many meals you want, how many days you want, how many meals you want. It's really, really good. Imagine, we didn't find the um, website terribly easy to navigate, did we? It was a bit... So we've got some Danish blue crumb pot. What is that? Blue cheese? Blue cheese. Uh, grated by cheese Italian style. Soured cream. Has that gone off milk? I don't know. Creme fraiche. Twiddle bugger off. Another grated cheese. Grated, grated cheese. Grated hard cheese. It's like we've got two oh, packets right. of that. What's that? That's uh, beef mince. From the chilli. Diced chicken thigh. For the stir fry. It looks like something that should be on the space shuttle. Yeah, doesn't it? Smoked bacon hard-ons. Can't be an hard-on. Creme fraiche. Get twoodle off. Why have they got two different... I don't know, you uh, ordered it. Uh, Danish blue crumb pot again. Ooh, another Danish blue. Yeah, we've got one of those. We obviously need two. And another creme fraiche. We've got three creme fraiches. Huh. Uh, then we've got bags of... Oh, what's that? Oh, got a bag of frozen water. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's to boil <laughs> stuff in. Stick that in my gin. Stick it in your gin. And what have we got here then? Oh, so each meal comes in a bag, so that's so, the yeah. number, don't they? So obviously you, you label them up to number 11 goes with number 8. <laughs> number 11, number 11. Yeah. And then how does it go? So it tells you everything you need. Egg noodle, well, everything you've got. So you've got egg noodles, plums, spring onion, ginger puree, hosting sauce, salted peanuts, diced chicken thigh, which is obviously in the cold bag, bok choy. Yeah. I thought it was pak choy, but anyway, it says bok choy on there. Garlic, cloves, chili flakes, and ketchup manis. On manis. the inside, I'm made of recycled and plastics. Then, on the back, which one's got that? your uh, method, how to cook it all. Cooking tools you will need. A cooker. Yeah, I'm just wondering. And it's got all your nutritional values here. Oh, that's you? all right for Chris then, isn't it? Yeah, and your allergens. Chris on the pea pod, uh, the pea cat, uh, the pack, or oh, the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin wire, get the dolphin wires going. Uh, assemble the dolphin wires. Just out of interest, sake, can we just have a look in bag 11? Please. You want to have a look in bag 11? Yeah, I just want to make sure we've not actually got to buy anything extra. Oh, I wouldn't have thought so. The whole well, idea is. Before you start, what are the ingredients and tools do we need? I'm just. Thinking. Our fruit and veg needs a little wash before you cook them. Right, so what's that? That's the bok choy, I guess. There's two of them. Yeah. What? No, it's got everything in. You don't need to buy anything else. Oh, a random spring onion. It's not a random spring onion. You need a spring onion. Plums. Plum. June knows how to handle the plums. She's the child there. Eh? She's 18. Oh. So, yeah, everything's there. She's got a Mini Cooper outside. I'm uh, excited to get started on this. Right, oh, so uh, we're not going to cook one tonight because we've already got a stew in the hot pot cooking away. Um, we will do these over the next few days. Uh, I will edit all this together, join it all up, and you will see how it goes. Like I said, this is not a paid promotion. They haven't got in touch with me or Elliot, um, but if they would like to get in touch with us in the future and pay us to do this, I'm sure we could work something out. Yes. Because I think this is quite a good little thing, these. I mean, the, yeah, the Morrison's I, one. I really The amount of the... people had, that had the Morrison's one was unreal, weren't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It, because sometimes, with these things, it makes you try something new. Yeah, you're forced to try something yeah. new. I mean, I would never have ate a, a lard on before. We've always got them. No, but I mean, things like that. I wouldn't bother doing that. Yeah. I but wouldn't it, bother doing that. And do you know why I wouldn't bother doing it? Because why? I'd have to go out and buy lots yeah, of different lots ingredients. Of, lots of different it's ingredients. All there. But this is also good for people. I've, I've been listening to um, things on the radio and stuff where people uh, struggle with the cooking and um, they need the help to get. Basically, one, they can't read the ingredients. Yeah. And that. But if, if they can get somebody to buy these for them, I'm sure it's. There's a way around it. Yeah. It's all, you know. I, I, I'm interested. I wouldn't mind trying that other one either. What's the other one, did you say? Gusto. Yeah. Yeah. Is See, we can really say what we like one because one we, we're, not, not, um, sponsored. we're not sponsored by them. So we can say what we Gusto like. Gusto is cheaper when you buy it for the first time. This just been full price the first time. I think you get it hard price the third time or something. All right. But depending on how this goes, it might be something that we keep on with anyway. Cause we yeah. We're stuck in a bit of a food. Yeah, we're, we're, there's many times we'll say what we're having for dinner and we end up with bloody beans on toast or something. Because nobody knows what we want. Yeah, but this is going to give it a go. So hopefully folks, uh, well, there won't be no hoping about it. We'll do these over the next few days or so. Get this video done and you'll be watching it after this. Well, well it's Thursday, isn't it, today? It's Thursday so today. We'll do it over the weekend. We'll do some of it over the weekend, yeah. Because I suppose you've got to eat the ingredients, haven't you? Because that... All the fresh stuff will go off. I suppose it's got a certain life on it that that might be an idea to go through the bags and see what the life of the. Oh, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, so. So, yeah, we'll keep them in the bags, bag it all in the fridge in the bags, and uh, yeah. go from there. All right, folks, see you in a second. Well, we are back. Look at you all the way down there, June. I know. You look miles away, yet you're only there. 
<laughs> aren't you? Um, so what it is folks, you've seen the first video that was a couple of seconds ago. And this time we are going, we've worked our way what we want to eat and uh, we've gone by the the Sell use by. by date. Yeah, the use by date on the meat. Yes, because that's a good idea we think. Uh, so what we're going for is the chili beef burrito bowl. Um, so uh, do you want to talk us through it, June? I, well, I don't know, I don't know what to talk it through. Well, Let's have a look. make sure we've got all the ingredients. So we've got, the we've got the beef mince, that's there's, not there. There's the lettuce. Uh, basmati rice, uh, red kidney beans, two cartons of passata. You say passata? Yeah. Then I'll say passata. <laughs> A lime. That could go in your gin later on. Oh, that's lethal. I'll be eating that. Yeah, June likes a tomato. What's that? That's lettuce. I'm just showing them that. Um, some brown stuff. Not sure what that is because I can't read it. Can you smoke it? Chipotle, chipotle concentrate. Right. It's not tobacco. A shallot. Well, it is your lot. Oh no, there's not. Oh it's... no, we've got another packet of black uh, brown stuff. I think that's the same. Yeah. Chipotle concentrate. So we've got two packets of that. Beef stock paste, and that's it. And they're really good because they put everything in the ba so in the bag. Eight. So number eight corresponds with the bag number eight. Yes, that's it. Um, so what shall we do, June? Shall we strip everything down? Well, let's just see what we're going to do. We'll get prepped. So shall we prepare the stuff and then come we'll back? Yeah, we'll prepare all the stuff and then we'll come back and we'll see how easy it is that uh, I can do it or June can do it. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Where's the fucking button? So, uh, June and, uh, well, I've done a little bit of prepping. You've got in the way more than anything I've else. I've got in the way, you? yeah. So what we've done is we have done this. Uh, we've got the... Uh, Chopped shallot. That shallot. There's some garlic under there as well. Yeah. There's a garlic clove. There's a garlic clove. It says to grate the garlic clove, but Dave didn't want to grate it. He wanted to chop it for some bizarre reason. Because so we've chopped it because, of course, he knows best. <laughs> The kidney beans, you had to wash and drain those. Half of them you had to put in a bowl and mash with a fork. Like that. We've washed the lettuce, washed and chopped You've the lettuce. You've washed your lettuce, ain't yeah, you? Yeah, we've got the pan of water on to boil for the rice. For the rice, rice, baby. Yeah, and we're just going to fry the we're mince gonna off. We're going to fry the mince off. Um, Let me get the instructions. Then that's hot enough, yeah. Also, this is where my new editing skills will come in. I will be able to speed this up, I hope. Don't seem to get a lot of mince there, do you, Junie baby? That's just because you're a greedy pig. Oh. Mind well, I suppose it's been shrink wrapped, isn't it? So it's. Right, uh, it says to break it up as it's frying. Yeah, it's been um, vacuum packed, isn't it? Yeah, so, so it's going to expand. Uh, half a pound of beef. Half a pound of tuppany rice. Oh, Evan's right. oh, sake, I don't know how to use my own extractor fan. Uh, the meat is the uh, red tractor. So it's uh, British meat. Assured British food standard. Yeah. Yeah, so although the Morrisons one was a good one, I bet this is better quality ingredients. Yeah. But we like the Morrisons, you just tweaked it to your own standards, don't you? Ooh, fine, I'll tell you what, this meat's taking some breaks out. Well, it's been fucking vacuum packed within an inch of its life. I know, it had all the goodness sucked out of it. Ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly pulled the meat out of the pan
that? Does it say the shallot and garlic, or does it just say the shallot? Oh. Add the shallot. So, you don't want to be adding the garlic too early because it can burn and it tastes very bitter, doesn't it? It so. does. So what we've done here then, June, is we've got the rice on the go, you've fried the mince, you've got your shallots in. Um, the rice is on, that's cooking. Yeah. That's got to cook for 10 minutes. Turn the heat right down, cook it for 10 minutes with a tight fitting lid. And then uh, when that's done, we'll be that. Okay, right. Lock this on the head then, for a second or two. And um, what is happening is now that June's uh, fried her onions, yeah, the, the meat's been browned, the minced beef has been browned, and then it said to put the shallot in and just soften that off a little bit, which is what I've done. Uh, I've seasoned it with salt and pepper. And then it says, stir in the garlic, which is buried under the kidney bean, but we'll fish it out. There we go. The garlic that has been chopped and not minced. We're nearly used uh, lazy bastard garlic. Lazy garlic, yeah, because that's what we normally use. Can't be bothered with. We love garlic in this house. <laughs> so we stir that in. Uh, and then it said add the chipotle sauce. Now I've tried this and it says add less if you don't like it hot. So I'm going to go for one and a half sachets, I think. So we do like it pretty hot, but we've got gingers having it and she's a bit of a lightweight. So there's one. two. Rice is going to be done in a minute. Wait. Hmm? You put all of them in. Oh. Never mind, eh? Never mind. Never mind, Jin. You'll just have to have a glass of milk. Well, a little bit tricky to open. I'm getting it yeah. everywhere. Right, so I've added two of those. Yeah. And then I'm going to half fill one of these with water, the just like I said, yeah, yeah, for the 100 ml of water, because I broke your measuring jug. Well, 100, 200 grams, is that 100 millilitres? Just oh. guess, it doesn't just matter. Guessing, just, yeah. I'll put a little bit less in, because I can always add a bit more. It's easier to take it away, it's easier to put it in than take it out. No, it's easier to add, it yeah, is. it's easier to add it. So it's that's easier to put in. it in than take it out. So there's the lettuce cherry tomatoes halved in a bowl so we've got to do uh, squeeze some lime into a bowl yeah folks. Chili burrito, burrito in a bowl. I have to use some rats there if you want. I'll tell you what, 
that cream just adds a completely different flavour to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really, really is good. Bloody fly. What's the salad like with the dressing? I don't know, I've not tried it yet, have I? Mmm. Good. Really good. How much was the meals worked out at? Uh, it was 48 quid for four meals for three people. And I've got to say, they are quite generous portions because me and Ginger, neither of us eat very much like this. Um, and we've got ample there, you, so you've got a bit extra. We've also got Lurkio. Yes, having a look at it. So there you have it folks, join us, well you won't join us because you will be following this video, uh, of us doing another uh, yeah. Hello Fresh meal. Out meal. This, out this food box we've bought. Right, I'm going to turn this off and talk in because this is too good to sit here talking to you. Ladies, here we are, the craze. <laughs> um, we're back, uh, you've just watched our first, um, you do uh, we just watched our first, uh, what did we do? Burrito bowl. Burrito bowl. Bloody lovely it was yeah, last it was night. Nice, wasn't uh, but I tell you what, it stung a bit on the way out this morning. Sorry for that, too much information, but just be prepared. We are now moving on to chicken and plum noodle stir fry with bok choy. I think I spelled that right. I said you that right, sorry, it. I didn't spell it, I pronounced it. It's number 11. We're on to bag number 11. For three, three people. people. We've got two of the two pa of them. Pak choy. That's bok, bok choy, sorry. Peanuts. Spring onions, egg noodles, two packets off, three plums, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Hosting Some brown stuff. Is it hosting sauce? I'm having a look. Hosting sauce and whatever that is. Ketchup mummy. Don't know. Uh, diced chicken thighs, chilies, dried chilies and ginger puree. Right, we've also got on the go. Yep. Uh, a pan of boiling water, that'll have oil in it. We are going to fry up the chicken. And we've got guys. to put the egg noodles once that's come to a boil. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll fry the chicken off, cut the noodles, prep the veg, and then we'll be back. Thank you very much, Fanny Craddock. And then uh, we'll come back when it's... Uh... You've just got to do this until yeah. the noodles are evenly coated. That's it, isn't it, yeah. So once it's done... So what we'll do, we'll leave that there for a second or two, and, and then we'll be back. So folks, uh, this is the finished product of the, what is it called, Junie Baby? Chicken and plum noodle stir fry. Chicken and plum noodle stir fry. Um, that's for three people. Yeah. There's a lot there for three people, I isn't there? I'll is. tell you what, I mean, don't get me wrong, right, folks. I will pretty much demolish it, but there's a lot there. All right, it's just, I want to try and dish it all, because we haven't got a proper serving to do, have we, so. No. Perhaps you need uh, tongs. Oh, I don't know. That's my tablecloth filthy again. Yeah. Right, so there's that. This is just for you to taste, isn't it? This is just for me to taste. Uh, Ooh. Oh, dear. Let's see what you think, because you're not a fan of meat and well, fruit, I, are you? No, so let's I'm just not. See what, what do you, you know think? what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a real good go of tucking into this. When the camera's turned off, he's going to just eat it straight out of this uh, yeah, will. serving dish. Right, so give me that then, June. Uh, if you want to turn the camera on me, can you see me? Hello. Right, I'll I'm going to try a bit of prune first. Plum. Plum. Do you know what? I'm not normally a, a fan of cooked fruit mm. but that is really good all oh, that chicken is tough that is well smart good hold on let's try about this celery thing celery bok choy it's got a bitter taste to it but it's not it's quite a peppery taste yeah. i thought it's nothing it, you you will like it Try some of these. There's not a lot of taste to it, is there? But it just adds a. Yeah, it just adds something. I think it's a pepperiness it adds. No, no, no. Mm. 
Are you sucking that up then? Yeah. Are people at home sucking that up? Um, yeah, helping you out. Good? That is good. I wouldn't say it's my ever favourite stir fry. Yeah. Because you do better stir fries than... Yeah. Or, no, that's wrong. This is completely different and I do like it. And we were talking about this last night and we think we're going to keep it going. Anyway. I think so, yeah. I mean, it was just going to be a one off, really, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Where are you going? I'm going to drink. Oh, Jen's going to get a drink. Um, so, I like this. I do like it. Mm. It's something. I think maybe I shouldn't cook the green stuff as long. Because that and the picture lot is much greener. But that doesn't look like it's cooked at all, to be fair. There looks a lot less of it and all. Mm, I don't know. Anyway. So that's the chicken and plum noodle stir fry. What have we got left to do? Uh, uh, we've got steak. We've got some steak and, and some bacon or something. Too. And then a, a pasta dish. And a pasta dish. Uh, so what do you think, June? June's just tucked in. I think it needs a bit of salt. Do you know what? I've left the garage door open because we've just had a major fire. Um, I put the <laughs> the oven on to grill and um, instead of oven and just instead of oven. Uh, but no, that is really good. Uh, I'm impressed with that. I quite like it. I will. We will have it again. Right, we are here now for the third of the four recipes we have bought from HelloFresh. This one is the creamy bacon and mustard panini. No, penne. Penne. So I can't fucking see it. I can't With see it, sorry. not Pear and blue cheese salad. Yes. Now, we haven't got a pear. They've sent us an apple. Have they? Yeah. So I'm not quite sure why that is. But anyway, we'll, we'll make do. I think they... they substitute through there yeah so that's that i've got a pan of water on to do the pasta so so we're bringing a pan of water up to the boil with half a teaspoon of salt half a pound of top rice let's stick the salt in there so just put uh, the salt in there and then we'll prep this veg yeah We'll do and all the prepping the and then it, yeah. we'll get on with it and we'll yeah, see so it. And what we've got, we've got two tubs of blue cheese. Love cheese, blue cheese. Uh, chicken stock paste. Chicken stock two paste. Two sachets of honey. Smoked bacon lardons. Puddly toy. Two packs of grated hard, hard cheese, Italian style. A creme fraiche. Uh, whole grain mustard. An apple, but it should be a pear. A shallot. Whole grain mustard and apple cider vinegar. Right, so June's going to prep that. I've got to pop up the shop. Uh, we've just got back from filming with Robbie Knox. Uh, so we're pretty sunburnt, we're pretty tired. Yeah. And we're hot, we're irritable. And me and June will probably have a row <laughs> in the next bit. All right, see you in a minute. As you can see, June has cooked her hard-ons uh, in the oil and the fat. She's added the garlic and the shallots. Right, so that's all ready. We've got to add water to the sauce. Now, we have a problem because we don't have a what's the name, do we? We don't have a jug. A we jug. don't have a measuring so jug. So, we're going to have to have a guess. We're going to have the guesstimate. Yeah. Well, that's the pint, Well, there's it? a pint, yeah. She's got a pint glass, so, so that's... So, half of that... ...is a quarter. Half of that... It says 300 mil, so I reckon that's about that. So yeah, because gonna... it gets bigger at the top, doesn't it? Yeah, so we're going to go with that. We can always add a bit more. So we add that to the pan. Then we add half the mustard, so in our case, it's one tub. Yeah, because... Woo! Because... Throw it all over myself. Um, yeah, be careful we, when yes. you're doing it, because they do send um, a bit extra. So say you only wanted one and a half of these tubs, They'd send you two tubs. Obviously, what I'm just going to show you on here is that you've got 2p, 3p, and 4p for the amount of peas you're eating. Peas. Uh, yeah, so if you're cooking for three, make sure you look at the. In fact, an idea would be to put something over there so you don't get confused. It's easy done, isn't it, June? Well, we're burnt, because this is what happened yesterday. Well, this is what happened yesterday. Um, uh, this is the chicken stock paste going in as okay. well. Um, we, yep. we used all that. Bok choy. Bok choy, yeah. And it should have been just one and a half, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter because it was still okay. Um, right, so that's that, and then it says, 
uh, stir and dissolve and bring to the boil. So we'll hang that up there, give it a bit of a stir. So what I'll do is here folks, I'm going to speed this up. Let's put all the mustard in, I didn't quite get it. Because I do like a bit of mustard. Right, so what I'm going to do now folks is I'm going to speed this up. That is the sauce that has been made, and yeah. there is the pasta. So I yeah, think June is going to slap that in there. Slap it in, June. Yeah. Slap it in, girl. Give it a bit of a mix. Don't Get the heat it. back on. It doesn't say put the heat back on, but it's a season with salt and pepper. Susie salt. We'll come back I'm going to put some pepper in that nice sweet. Oh sorry, I know I'm, I'm a bit of a pepper bully, aren't I? Yeah. Right, so we'll leave that there and you, well you'll see in a second. Are we recording? Yeah. Good. Uh, so this is the finished product. Uh, Junie has been lovingly uh, working on this. You can't see it. Um, there you go. He'll do it, he'll focus. Yeah. Um, so really, there's nothing left to do but to say, let's... Tuck in. Tuck in. Ginger's being the camera lady. It's <laughs> mm. good, isn't it? Smells really nice. That is superb. Let's try the dressing. Mm. I think the salad makes it. Mm. Oh God, the cheese makes it. <laughs> That salad dressing mm. is the dog's, isn't it? Mm. Is it nice for the apple? Mm. Mm. Really good, really good. Nice and quick this one as well. Nice and quick. It'd have been a damn sight quicker if it weren't recording it for you lot. Um, but I'm happy with that. So, uh, what we've got left to do, June? We've got the steak one, haven't we? We've got the steak tomorrow. So we've got the steak one left, so you'll see that in a second. But this, which is your favourite so far? Oh, that is really nice. I don't know, because usually I'm not a fan of pasta, but I love this. Yeah, really good. They really worked, all the tastes, all the flavours are all mixing well. And it was quick and easy to do. We're happy with this. We're going to keep this um, hello fresh. And um, just once a fortnight. once a fortnight, and we're just going to get one of these. And the, the way that you can just mix all the recipes up is absolutely brilliant. Anyway, tell you more about that uh, at, well, the end. at the end, later. Right, folks, we are back with the fourth one. Fourth and final part. The fourth and final part of the Hello. I want to say Hello Kitty, but that's wrong, isn't it? It's, it's Hello Fresh. Um. What is it? Don't know. Uh, steak and red wine is you with dauphin wild potatoes and garlic green beans. Okay, so what are the ingredients, uh, Judy Baby? We have green beans, creme fraiche. Well, that does help, isn't creme it? Creme fraiche. I don't know why we've got two creme fraiches, but anyway, two creme fraiche. Uh, what's that? Vegetable stock. Uh, some brown stuff. 
No, you don't want to be in the brown stuff, do you? Uh, I can't remember what that is. What's it say? Oh, that must be the red wine. Red wine oh, and right. jus paste. So that's that. An onion. Four potatoes spuds. Potatoes and garlic. And which garlic, is which is up there. Uh, the oven is on at uh, 200 yeah. degrees. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm just wondering if we need to turn that down a bit because our oven does get a bit hot yeah shall we leave it like that for now well let's leave it like that for now so um, the first step um well, it says boil your beans but we're not boiling them yet blimey peel the potatoes and chop into half a centimeter discs add to the water and simmer until the potatoes are just cooked right so we'll do that and then we'll come back all right see you in a second so, uh, what Tuna's done is going to tell us what she's We've done. We've peeled and sliced the potatoes and boiled them or simmered them for about eight minutes. Trimmed the green beans. I trimmed the beans. Yes, with scissors. With Wanda. scissors, Wanda. Um, sliced the onion, minced the garlic. And the next bit we've got to do, once the potatoes are drained, lay half the potato slices in an appropriately sized oven proof dish. Don't forget, folks, if you're cooking for three people, only use the ingredients of oh, it. Just, just check the ingredients this, you've got the right quantities. Is it going to do it? There it is. Don't forget, folks, 2p, 3p, 4p. I'll get some frying the onions now, Right, so you've got to fry the onions now, I'm, then, June. I'm not sure, I'm just checking. Uh, oil in a pan, add the onion and cook until softened and lightly brown. Okay, so... Add half the garlic and cook for one minute. And we'll do that then, then we'll come back. Righto. Stick it on the potatoes, like so. And then we arrange the rest of the potatoes on top. The other potatoes will have cooled down by now, so they won't be burning your fingers. No, let's hope not. Isn't that right, Junior Baby? Mm. It's very artistically uh, done there, June. Yeah, I'm just trying to fill in the gaps a bit. Fill in the gaps. Mm. Have we got enough? Yeah. Oh yeah, they just give you just enough, don't they? So. Yeah. There you go. So there we have. And then, uh, bake in the oven. That helps. For 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so June's going to whack that in her oven. I am now. Right, so the steaks are now done, folks. Um, should be done. They should they've be done. been browned a minute each side and then they've been cooked for three, three minutes. minutes each side. Each so side. so uh, it should be done. Then we've got to leave them to rest on a plate wrapped in foil. But once again, we're, this is we're, we're probably repeating ourselves off the other videos, too. Uh, but this is good because you're actually got the ingredients to cook. A yeah. meal, you're, you know, yeah. It's all there. You've not got to mess about. You've got to think, oh shit, I've got, I've got such and such. And somebody's got a race and come on. Here. And, and hopefully this will um, give people yeah, the. Let's put that here for a minute. Sorry, sweetheart. Uh, and then. There's so Twiddle. Done that. Meanwhile, heat a drizzle of oil in another pan and. 
Add so, the green beans, season with salt and pepper, and stir fry for two minutes. So June's already put some oil in there. Um, yeah. You can keep that stirring that. Oh, oh, spitting out the top. Oh, it's spitting. Yeah. Goody thing. I'll do my key floy. Oh, Jesus. See? Keith Floyd, legend. When you talk about legends, you've got to put Keith Floyd in there. So the battery has changed, folks. Uh, the, the What's this stuff? Jus, or what you say it's called, Jus? Jus. Red wine Jus. Red, red wine. I am not going to sing it. Um, That's ready. The garlicky beans are ready. The garlicky beans, Jim. Chuck the garlic in. Um, the steaks are just like resting, just you cook steaks and then you let them rest. Um, June's we'll got a gin on. Yes, and we'll be back when we're going to Steaks do done it. and the dolphin was uh, cooking nicely, so uh, we'll be back in a second. A recording? Yeah. Okay, folks. Uh, so this is the finished product. Um, what is it? Steak and red wine juice. 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 Uh, I'm going to tuck straight into the steak, folks, because let's face it, this is what the whole meal is about, really, isn't it? June's already tucked into hers. Mm. Is it? Mm. That beef's really tender. Lovely. And the sauce. I know you shouldn't eat with your knife. That's really rich, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? Mm. There's a little bit more in the pan if you wanted some. Mm. There's potatoes. <laughs> hot. Potatoes are bloody hot. <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah, we like these. We like these. And the, let's just go for the beans now. Mm, the potatoes are good. Now, the beans are quite Crunch, raw. Crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. And I like I like my vegetable. Well, we all do. We all like vegetables. My carrots and my peas and not my peas, carrots and stuff like this. I like it with a bit of crunch. I don't like it when it's overdone. I think if you have done stuff, you just lose the flavour of the vegetable. Especially kids, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, and kids don't like it. But this, another great meal, to be fair. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck into this. Jim's tucking into hers. Ginger's going to tuck into hers because she's eating. The only criticism I'm going to have of this is there's not enough vegetables to me. There you go. But what we're going to do, we're going to come back and we'll have a bit of a chat about all four meals. So this is the finishing off of the uh, Hello Fresh food box. Hello Vera. The Hello Fresh food box. Uh, I haven't got my camera right. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to recap on the meals that we had. Uh, June's made a bit of a list. VM well, yeah, v uh, v but value for money. Oh, I think it was pretty good value for money because we worked it out and it works out about four pound a head. So. <laughs> It's 48-ish pound delivered to your door. Nobody else's door. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose you could. Four, you could buy them again, deliver to somebody else's door. Four right meals on. for three of us. Yeah. Was it? Um, yeah, Get so I thing. think it was pretty good value for money. What do you think? You I did. I, do you know what, right? Um, Ginge found it. She was banging on about it after we'd done the Morrison's uh, food box. And uh, she kept, oh, you got to do it, Dad. you got to do it. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't really want to do it. But she took me round. I bought it. And I was a bit sceptical about it, I must admit. I was a bit, um, you know, got it. And uh, I've been thoroughly impressed with it. Yeah. It's a lot better than Morrison. No, Morrison's don't give you enough choice they will just go, they'll just send but you a food box they have got choices but they have now. changed now have they? yeah, they've changed now so you can pick it a bit like the hello fresh all oh, right but i think that one that we had was just a basic one when we were yeah. all in full lockdown and it was just easy i mean i was very impressed with that one but this one 
the quality of it is it's, it's far superior. It is. It's nice quality meat as well. Um, and all the ingredients were nice quality yeah. ingredients. Like yeah. that, all of them. Yeah. Um, the instructions were really easy to follow. So you've got the what it's supposed to look like, a list of ingredients here which they send to you. Um, and the method on the back with pictures and here be careful with this because i was just chucking everything in i made a bit of a mishap with the noodle stir fry yeah the bok be choc or yeah i put i put all of the bok choy in it but when i actually looked at it it says for three people only use one and a half it didn't matter it just meant we had more veg um but yeah if if it was something other than that you might spoil your yeah. recipe so yeah so the first time, first one we had was that, and we loved that. That was yeah. really, really nice. Uh, and I've got to say as well, the time that they take. Um, I mean, this one, uh, hands-on time, total time, and sorry, let me tell you that again. The hands-on time is 20 minutes. Total cooking time is 30 minutes, so they're pretty much spot yeah. on. I mean, we took a little bit longer because yeah, we were well, we doing this well, for we you. So we were stopping, starting, stopping, starting. And this one said it's a medium spice with two of you five a day. So that's quite handy. And I'll tell you what else I liked as well. On your recipe card, it had a number on it. And the bag of ingredients mm. also had the corresponding number. I think we did talk about that, yeah. didn't we? Uh, yeah. The next one was the chicken and plum noodle stir fry. Once again. That was really tasty. Uh, <clears throat> For a start off, I was a bit disappointed that because we quite often do our own stir fry, um, mm. and it was wasn't quite as tasty. But I made it like I said, well, a bit of an error. Yeah. I put too much bok choy in it, so I couldn't mix it all in properly. But as we tucked into it, served it up, and we delved into yeah. it, it was. The well, taste. I actually did a little bit of the video. Yeah, I came yeah. back and said, "Yeah, it the was more really we good. Had, it was really and that good, one so. takes twenty minutes, and it's yeah. one of you five a day, and a little spice. You've got a sachet yeah. of dried chillies, and you put as much or as little of that as yeah. you like." Next one was creamy bacon and mustard, uh, mustard. mustard penne mustard. with pear and blue cheese salad. Now, uh, I don't like pasta very much, but that was really, really tasty. But also be aware that they do, if they haven't got um, one of the ingredients, they will substitute it with something else. In this instance, we're supposed to have had a pear, but we ended up with an apple. Didn't matter to us. Um, and that was another nice quick one because we'd actually gone out for the day and we were talking about getting a... a Chinese. Chinese and I said no no let's do this and, and that was yeah, yeah was and good. it didn't take much to do in the end at all no, did it so no, no. Uh, and as you've just seen folks about uh, four minutes and 30 seconds ago uh, we just had the steak and uh, uh, yeah it was steak red and red wine jus with dauphinois potatoes and garlic and green beans now this one we picked it for Dave didn't we? Because I didn't you, know because, I, yeah, because we, I didn't really want to do this. Because me and Ginge don't don't really like steak. Uh, we like joints of beef and we like pot roast beef and things like that and beef in stews. We don't actually like a slab of beef. But well, I do. Yeah. So we, we bought it mostly for Dave. Um, I've got to say the steak was beautiful, but it's not my thing. So it wasn't my favourite one, but you loved it, didn't you? I loved it. I thought it was really good. The, the, the actual steaks were... Really tender. Yeah, I mean, Ginge didn't eat all of hers, but then again, she never does eat all her food. Um, so obviously I just scooped it all up and put it on my plate. Yeah. And the, the, the steaks were really good. The, were the really cooking good. times were bang on. Spot on, yeah. And... Yeah. The, the dauphin wild potatoes they were to die for because we've done them before yeah. but we've bought one of the Schwartz packets. Yeah. But we made this one fresh obviously this time and yeah. it's far really superior. Good. Is there anything you would like to add, oh ginger wine? I would like to add that the pasta is lovely and uh, that's it. Do you like the chili beef as well, didn't you, in the burrito bowl? Well, the, I liked them all, but the steak's just not my thing. No, well, I've just, I've yeah. just said that, but they, they were all nice, right? they were all really tasty, yeah. and you could just tell they were quality ingredients. But again, I mean, the, even this steak one, that, that's just me not really mm. liking steak. I don't yeah. like cooking it, I don't like particularly eating it, but you loved it, so yeah. we, we've it, got it for you. If you've, the sauce if, were nice. if you've got a steak eater in your house, um, they'll they love it. That yeah. sauce was tremendous. Yeah, it was really good. Hello Fresh have really sat down, they've thought about what they're gonna do, and they've worked out these meals and they're spot on. Yeah, the only thing I will say about this, that one, um, is I didn't think there was enough of that one. 
Um, yeah, because it's only, not it's yeah. supposed to be one serving. Cause yeah. We, yeah, we didn't get as much as is on that plate. Didn't seem to. Well, vegetable-wise. No, yeah. we didn't get as many vegetables, certainly. And we certainly didn't get as much potato. Um, but, but it was really, really yeah. tasty. But that is not going to fill us up. It probably could have done with a carrot or a broccoli. Yeah, a few more veg or a few more potato. Yeah. What have you got in your teeth? It's surely it stays. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you do when you're married. You pick each other's teeth like a pair of baboons. <laughs> Yeah, so that was really, really tasty. The flavours were really yeah. good, but there wasn't enough on it. But other than that, it, yeah. it was great. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought it was really good. Um, Hello Fresh, you've done a really good job there. Um, hopefully we will do more of these. Could we do be sticking that one on a cob? On a cob? Yeah, fill you up a bit more. On a donkey's knob. Um, yeah, Hello Fresh, I think you've done a really good job there. Um, yeah, well, we, are, we have kept on with it, haven't we? Yeah, we, we have kept on with it. We've got some more coming. Uh, if you want to see us cook these, um, we won't take as long as we have on this video because we just wanted to really well, go into it in just depth. Do the finish, just show them the yeah, finish we could article. just do the finished article and stuff. Um, Hello Fresh, if you want to sponsor, just get in <laughs> touch with uh, Blue Van Man at contacts, gmail.com. Uh, <laughs> They're sure not going to do that. They might do. They might say, bloody hell, he's done well. <laughs> Him and June. Yeah, I thought it was good. I did. I thought it was really good. Yeah, um, yeah it just was good. I, I just think they're good because you're not wasting anything. You're not wasting anything. It's all but, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we was going on about not enough of that, that one. Um, but you can order sides and pudding. So if you wanted extra veg, yeah. you could order extra That would be an ideal. cost you more. That would be an ideal romantic meal, eh? Mm. Wouldn't it? Bottle yeah. of wine, watch some telly, get them into bed, everybody's happy. Yeah, it's really good. So okay. It's a thumbs up from me. Oh, and it's a thumbs up from me. Well, I don't, do we do that? We don't do that. Oh, we don't I just do fancy that. doing it for oh, a change. Oh, thumbs up. Okay, ladies.